towards the tail end of this program and this is MCM at Y244 channel personally is at Brian Circle 101. Now here's the question. Interesting one. Kumaloni Kudonja. Okay. I'm still trying to process that, but we'll get to that. So Niwapi, Umewai Tembea, he Kenya, Unge Kwana Wezo, Unge Babambo Gyako Yote, Waende on appear. In short, we are asking what is what what are some of those beautiful and serene places, especially right here in the country, 254. Come on, you can let us know at the comment section. We'll definitely be glad to know your experience. But I'm being joined live in studio by two powerful gents, and uh, one of them has been here before. He's MC, MC Afri, uh, I don't want to get it wrong, MC Africa. Anna. Is it Africana? Right here, correct me. I believe it's Africana. He's a professional uh, MC and founder of his organization. And then Joshua Twaguma, he's a tourist and a travels expert. Karibuni sana, gentlemen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, let me start with you, uh, Mr. Joshua Twaguma. Maybe Ukiangalia right now in the 254, even with this economy, are people really traveling, especially Kenyans? A channel of foreigners, when you like, they come and go, and sometimes they even. You know, uh, I've seen, I've seen there's, lately there's been an outbreak of like people getting married to Azungu. So I don't know if it's an outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they come, they get married, and then they go outside country. But that's a CC too when you're trying to stay in Kenya. Are people really traveling and visiting places? Yes. From your experience, from, <coughs> you know, since you also own a tours and travels company, by the way. Yes, people travel. Uh -huh. uh, like, let's say right now, SGR Easter period, right. the SGR is already fully booked. Ah, this year is fully booked, fully booked right now? Right now. Jesus, okay. And, if we, and when we check the flight packages, actually it's countable, mm -hmm. the flight availability. Right. So that one is a positive indication that people are really traveling. Mm. From your interactions, maybe, if you can maybe paint for us a picture, who are some of the people that travel mostly? And also maybe the gender as well. Is it males, females, uh, compa compa compared to the other gender? Is it more females traveling or it's an equal ratio? Uh, from the experience I've had from January yeah. and the clients that I've worked with, uh -huh. majorly both genders. And both genders? Yeah, the yeah. ladies are coming in the competitive. Yeah, hey, Mademo travel, sana. Hey, hey, hey. Apo ujadanganya. But also, uh, in, t in terms of, let's say, now the structure, maybe age, uh, are they students, uh, working class, uh, a little bit middle, you know, aged pale, when uh, you know, travel sana, or student type of travelers, local okay. travelers, yeah. Local travelers, if I categorize it with the, the let's say, the quarters of the year, uh -huh. right now the working class are traveling. Oh, it's more working class well, than right now students. It's more our yeah. students will begin later, maybe from April. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. this is a holiday in Mexico. Yeah, in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe families would be more. Like world. mother, son, father, daughter. Am I only during December mostly? Yeah, maybe early January, December, uh -huh. and August. Oh, early January, December, August. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Interesting insights. What about you, MC Africana, right? Okay, yeah, uh, thank you. So MC much. Africana? MC Africana. Yeah, so uh, I just want you to get straight into the question without saying anything else. Do you think uh, Kenyans are traveling? Yes. And have you traveled yourself? I have many yeah. times actually engaging on uh, team building. Uh, yeah. I travel a lot, so so on, a manga, just mm -hmm. making sure that we engage through the team building activities. Mm -hmm. uh, but I cannot say that they travel like before, you know, before the tour companies were having a lot, just a, a lot of bookings and all that. But I think due to financial constraints, the economical situations in the country, yeah. having a thousand shillings is nothing at this point. So mm -hmm. I really feel uh, the more the dollar is just rising, the more we are really feeling the pinch. So yeah. I'll just say that the culture is still there. That uh, traveling is our or just uh, touring around is just there. It's still there, but the point is, it is not like before, where where we could see a lot of maybe even uh, in this uh, road to Masai Mara, you could yeah. just see a lot of uh, tour vans. Yeah. Of the uh, you told me you've been at Masai Mara before. Yeah. How is it there? Will it, is it a place you'd like to yeah. collect uh, your fellow friends more in the there. People should go there. The first thing I love about uh, Masai Mara is that it is very natural. Mm -hmm. you, you, no modifications. 
things are very real. If it is a lion, it is a lion, you know. Um, <laughs> I think... <laughs> so <laughs> you mean in other places uh, the it's not a is, lion? Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you go up <laughs> another place, instead of seeing uh, ah. uh, the lion itself, you're just seeing uh, maybe a carving. Oh, yeah. carving, yeah, I get yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Because uh, it's possible, I don't know if you've seen those two meme videos where uh, a doggy may quadrastic like a lion, but see lion. <laughs> okay, there was a, uh, it was just yeah. a meme where someone ali, ali paint a dog to be like a tiger. So I yeah. guess it was in Kericho. So right. the dog has been running around, people are running um, anyway. Easily scares people. Uh, anyways, yeah. yeah, sure. Uh -huh. So um, I really feel like uh, people should visit Masai Mara. That's uh, where, when you really want something very natural, you want to just. Uh, can just get in touch into the natural world, just feel how yeah. beautiful the, the universe is. Yeah. I will just prefer Masai Mara, the beautiful dances. Like you can just feel like you know I'm an African. That's why yeah. I, it's my best place I want to visit soon again. All yeah. right. Okay, uh, before we get back to you, just what, you know, a lot of people underestimate um, the experience of exiting the city and just having a different mindset like i find it therapeutic for me like when i exit nairobi and i go to a different place away from the chaos of working hard uh being on tv or just being in the being caught up in the miasma of you know and the minutiae of like hey you work on tv da, 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 da. you finally exited the city and you're not talking about anything about nairobi or go in the interiors and the environment is purely organic a lot of people underestimate that but it's mentally relieving for me, wh wh I, th I think there's this place in Kajiado. Uh, and then it's super dry, but there's other parts where Mefuga, is it Kondo? But it's a mixture of like horses again. They have sheep, like they have a mixture of, of both animals. And just that environment of wild animals and the people who totally are not in touch with technology and the noise of the city, who oh, super therapeutic. A lot of people underestimate that. Yeah, sure, sure. People really feel like, you know, there are some people who are really hooked up into the city they that's their life they are someone who may be born in a ghetto you know life here too just being like seeing the hooting of cars and all that but I as a professional MC actually I can advise people to engage on team building activities uh -huh. I mean just when you hear we are going maybe to Suswa you're going to Namanga just once in a month Namanga save has a thousand mentioned a lot you, did you mention Namanga as well I uh, know, I think it's you had mentioned there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, why did you go to Namanga? Because I've been it's there. Because I, a road trip. Just, All right. Uh, at the end of the day, we engage. That's out of Nairobi, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see a, a new things. You can engage even with new people because sometimes yeah. it's maybe different people. Yeah. Uh, I, I think many people underestimate They just see, like, you know, it's. It's just waste of money and all that. Oh, no manga. I could just even do yeah. this and all that. But I think mm -hmm. engaging in road trips, engaging in just, just even, even not even if it's uh, going to a national park or wherever it may be, just getting out of Nairobi. Yeah. You can go to maybe Limuru, there's a, those mm -hmm. tea. Even Muranga, there's a time yeah. I went to Muranga, I used to work for, I used to work, but there I used to work in a court. So me nimefanya vitu za low sana. So me was yangu na mimi ukashinda. I'm playing. But yeah, I was working at a court mm -hmm. and I was filing a case. So it was my first time in Muranga. Mm -hmm. And the landscape itself was really therapeutic. I love the way it's tilted mm -hmm. away from Nairobi and the tall buildings and the noise. Oh, good lord, it was just it was soothing. So you know just a quick visit to a place it changes your mind it makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Let me come back to you, Mr. Josephard. Now from you, uh, as a facilitator who meet and interact with these people, do you ever sometimes handle clients who are like, um, yes, a new and end a holiday destination, but I feel like I'm not getting value for my money. But then also I'm looking at it from a point of somebody who's just having a bad day. And uh, if you work in customer service, definitely you meet people who are having a bad day and they're likely to unleash that on you. But then you have to maintain your cool and be professional and be like, hey, you know what? I'm not the one causing your problems. Me, I'm just here to facilitate. I understand maybe I could not, or maybe I can't fulfill your expectations, but this is what I can offer. But then how do you handle that as a facilitator now? Actually, now that is even the main reason why I began Jabit Adventures. Okay. So You say it's Ja? Jabit. A J-A? J apostrophe H then 
Jane then Habit or like from Ja Ja Rastafari sasa hiyo Ja Ah no no just oh. single J oh so actually in French <laughs> trying to get it sorry <laughs> so yeah in pr- in French uh-huh. J stands for I uh-huh. then Jabit live that uh-huh. is be it was it uh, actually it was derived from I live from let's say habitat all oh, right yeah so it's wow, okay. Jabit meaning I live uh-huh. so um the slogan that he came up with is uh-huh. from B to let's say give it the name Jabit adventures was right. to give life meaning through adventure. Oh wow, I get the creativity. Who? Yeah, yeah. Are there people who are still creative in <laughs> Kenya? <laughs> I can only imagine mm-hmm. the level of like researching to come up with such a word. But anyways, uh-huh. uh, and is, is the word manifesting is the name manifesting? Yeah, it's manifesting. <laughs> okay. So let's say say that having a client, yeah, in most cases you can have a client uh-huh. who wants to go for a vacation or a destination. Yeah. But because of the here and there the hectic life yeah they can even end up saying cancelling everything at the last minute and how do you deal with cancellations so actually we have the policies that deal with the cancellation mm-hmm. actually now the policy is to make the it's also another hundred plan yeah. to motivate the client to continue the trip yeah. so as to you know something at times they can just come up out of something just comes up and annoys them and they cancel everything so yeah. to give them the reason why you had booked it yeah. because most people tend to forget at times that vacation is may is meant to give you life or to expand your lifespan yeah. oh, it's oh, not okay. just a thing See, to 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 have fun uh, urudi umetoka coast ah, <laughs> <but that's what's laughs> the, that exposure that different experience is what is motivating people to actually should be motivating you to change yeah everything disconnect and yeah, just come back rejuvenated come yeah. come back rejuvenated because yeah. they say that at times yeah. oh when you find a person depressed uh, mm. and should I say that I'm sorry to get into that topic but yeah sure 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 get into it go deep <laughs> go hard <laughs> yeah so actually most of the people that are at times depressed it oh. is actually being Uh, the real the real reason is because of the continuous experience of the same same things without having a change a different experience or a different perspective to us to get the solution mm. so now adventure rather taking a vacation will give you more reasons or rather now for you to have more li- more reasons to live to enjoy yeah. life so yeah. as to actually it will give you another face of you not tegemearing nisema kutegemea your lifestyle need to ati kila kitu ni hapa peke yake Yeah like things can get better yeah. you will get money you know <laughs> nice that's a nice point you know sometimes you can get so used to being you know stressed and depressed mm-hmm. and that continuous patterns of things not going right like oh, yeah. it becomes your thing so having a break from it a little bit you're like hey kumbe kuna maisha huko nje actually there's a time uh, there's a friend who we visited uh, we visit the anyway stack you mention your company because it's a competitive station as well mm-hmm. it was in love no in kileleshwa so when we figure to the place this girl was shocked that this is a place in Nairobi and people are living life okay. driving the best cars because the life he's seen and the what he's used to hakuamini so literally mm-hmm. visiting places changes your mind sometimes and you grow mentally oh yes from what you used to yeah from what you used to and that is uh-huh. why also <coughs> we have packages that actually will facilitate in building and also let's say it's more of a campaigning when we get to associate with organization or corporates and give them the reason because actually managers or other supervisors have the challenges of encountering people without knowing what their colleagues are going through yeah. so when we give the facilitation or a package that will favor the organizations in yeah. team building activities yeah. so we make sure that our facilitator does his best actually mm-hmm. the new experiences and also enabling the let's say uh, the manager and his team or the supervisor hr and his team they get yeah. to tag along because at times yeah hr or managers tend to deal with the people yeah. who actually don't see the other side of the hr they always think that mm. our hr is too agitated too rigid they actually mm. don't they have never seen the hr smiling and if yeah. they get another person telling them, do you know that our hr normally smile they tend yeah. to wow really Are you for real? Ama ni pick yangu na konga mimi nikasirikia. So actually yeah. the this let's say this team building and also the vacation is meant yeah. to give yeah. the, uh, give people the room to yeah. to desire to travel more. 
Yeah, nice. Uh, still on you. Do you mm -hmm. feel like travel is expensive, domestic travel? Because I believe international travel, I mean, like exiting Kenya or maybe going to like Zanzibar or Tanzania or something, literally outside Kenya. You, you have to spend some quite amount of or cash as well yeah. if you're going either with sea. Ah, do we still use sea? Water travel. <laughs> do yeah. we still use water travel to exit? Yes. We do. Yes, but I'm yet to find out like the nitty gritties of it. Mostly in a flight na. Yes, SGR, yeah, but yeah, SGR is just a in Uganda. I don't want to get into that anyways. But mostly people spend money yeah. to exit outside country. But now domestic traveling, is it expensive? Am it's affordable? Am it goes with the economy? Now, especially right now. Uh, I remember there's a guest of tours and travels as well. I interviewed him, Ali Jan. Ali Sema, there's a, they're asking and they're pushing for the president to lower Zinetwaje, uh, get parks parks price yeah, uh, parks prices yeah. up the, the, the parks <laughs> especially parking sometimes sometimes even taxations a guest etc so mm -hmm. is it cheaper now or it's expensive I mean it, it's it fluctuates like it goes from a little bit affordable to high like uh, it keeps on fluctuating actually in the world of adventure yeah there is three seasons uh -huh. the high season the low season and also the peak. mediums yeah the peak season mm -hmm. which is also high but also there is this medium season right so they, it, they, it tends to fluctuate. It's not always constant. Oh, but like now, right now, wh mm -hmm. what is the state of travel? Uh, for now? The state right now, mm -hmm. let's say it's medium. It's uh -huh. Yeah. It's like it's medium. half. People are traveling and not traveling. Yeah. And because of what? What makes it half? Actually, know that we are just from December. So people mm -hmm. are still picking up. Also, school is also here. No, yeah. those are now the, some of the challenges that making people know to travel much. Right. But I believe, uh, let's say, from mid March, mid of this month, from from this week, now uh, it's going to things will be resuming. Yeah. yeah, things should be resuming. And Easter is in April. Easter next month. Actually, it's the end of this month. At the end of this month. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, my limo, see me pick here, my Easter in <laughs> April. Well, yes. you are not only the only person who is <laughs> having shocked. that. Mm, yeah. Uh, also, it also shocked us. We as the facilitators, or right. and also those, because we are used to Easter being mid-April or right. early April. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. To our surprise. Oh, come I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah, but to our surprise this year, yeah. it turned out to be from 29th to yeah. 31st. This is a leap year, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Let me go back to you, MC African. You know, there's this facade that the only place you can travel to is Mombasa. <laughs> Actually, you're too angry. Actually, I asked you and you said you've never. So I'm yeah, not surprised yeah. though, but I'm a little bit surprised because it's usually like the most common place a lot of people visit. Do you feel like we need to uh, dislocate that mentality of like uh, the only place? I don't know as a visitor to Kibra and you'll still be fine. You're walking. Yeah. You can go to a Kibandaski and chill and you guys, Mta Donjo Ilembaya Sana. Yeah, I think. Um, the mentality has to just you have to we have to change the mentality because that's where uh, I've never gone to Mombasa. Yes, I'm, cap I'm capable Why? of going there. <laughs> Why haven't you? Yeah, Do you feel like you're missing something? There, but Do you feel like you're missing something if no? You're cool. I'm cool. Oh, I, okay. I would prefer even not to visit. Yeah. Hey man, please yeah. ensure you visit. You I think I think um, uh, I've been to Kisumu severally, Dunga uh, Beach. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it's because it's my, I, I love the way those people, the Hoangla, and you know, just sitting there, you just listen to their uh, benga, yeah, those music, Luo mu yeah. music. I, I, I always love where things are very natural. No yeah. Mombasa things are kind of modified, trying mm. to modernize you? Really? things, you know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I love, I love the, 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 na the, the natural way. Beaches would be E. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, um, that's why you, you were saying about just people not just seeing Mombasa as the end goal. You can just visit very beautiful places. There is in Kericho, actually. Yeah. We have the biggest plantations, very therapeutic. Walking, you know, yeah. just nature. Uh, ah, just walking trees, in a, yeah. a very silent, green, and a very like tarmac road. There's a place where it's tarmac. The, the tea farms, yeah. specifically. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine? Mm -hmm, yeah. It's like a movie. It's and like sometimes it's cold. It's, it's yeah. usually extremely cold. Actually, yeah. the, the, the weather in Kericho is cool. 
yeah. the point of uh, I, I, you can imagine how you always watch a movie people yeah. walking as the drone is just run, running eh? that's, the, mm, that's the point yeah. it's therapeutic to the it, eye as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um mm. I think there are many places in Kenya where people uh, should visit. See Mombasa to Yeah, and that's why it has intrigued me to, in future, have a traveling company. Yeah, yeah you also want to join his industry. Yeah, I'm coming, okay. I'm coming. Uh, you have a network <laughs> sitting <laughs> next to one. Okay. Yeah, it's because of, uh, I've been into team building much of, yeah. of uh, my career and uh, have visited a lot of places and I really felt that you guys once you just uh, utilize well the capabilities your potentials you can really you can really earn well yeah. I, I know there the, in every uh, career in everything you do there's always the uh, the challenges but i really feel like i can advise someone to visit uh, i mean to venture into traveling com uh, companies the tours and all that mm. uh, because uh, many people and nowadays the Many, well, no, many of us, due to the, f the, the things we, pan uh, we pass through, emotions, depression, stress, the only yeah. thing a person will think <laughs> of is like, let me get out of Nairobi. We'll take him or her. So it's you as a company. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's something that is getting a trend because uh, nowadays for you to maybe go to Singapore, you need a, an agent to lead you to a guide and all that. So... Um, I guess uh, we should just get away out of the mentality of Mombasa is everything. I'm not saying it's bad. At the end of the day, those people have gone there, been telling us the stories, you know. When I was young, uh, people could just go to tours. And I, to be sincere, I don't know why I used to pay 2000 to come and see the KICC. <laughs> <laughs> you were scammed, yeah. nigga. Because if there's those people uh, have been into town, I'd be like, and imagine I used to pay. But you know, <laughs> back then it used to mean so much. Remember, it's a monument. Yeah, you and it's a the historical the place. Yeah, Even yeah, parliament, yeah. it's historical, it's monumental. <laughs> so it literally it helped you in history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say it's XID because <laughs> what you're doing in life, the <laughs> math is not math in Kamsa. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I really feel like um, we should just uh, visit those very beautiful places. I guess you can just draft it from... Uh, those two as you used to go when you were in high school, primary school, they yeah. like Bogoria, like Nakuru, yeah. all those beautiful places. I, I, I want to go to Nakuru, uh, not Nakuru, Turkana. I like Turkana. Yeah, I really feel like Turkana is the best place to go because... Uh, like Turkana, is it a salt water lake? Salt? No. no. Fresh, yeah, it's, it's a, a fresh, fresh water lake. It's a fresh water yeah. yeah. Your um, history comes into play. I want to mm -hmm. just uh, go there because I, I really feel I will learn a lot. Yeah. I had a friend who you will never, I guess, never use a toothbrush because there is a natural uh, toothbrush. Oh, I, I really feel like I can it, interact with them and just mm. click. Click, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. those yeah. cultures and all that. Mombasa, you just go, the, you know, Tarab and all that. At the end yeah. of the day, it's gone. But going to Turkana, I, I'm just trying to, to mm. venture in where people can just go and yeah. at the end of mm. the day, come up with a, a summed up... Uh, objectives uh, and achievements and maybe ca ca coming home as a changed man coming home with not the mentality of everyone is using a toothbrush or maybe everyone is just uh, doing this everyone is wearing uh, you can go to uh, uh, Masai and you really feel people are still in shukas you know yeah yeah and that will change your mindset that you, d yeah. it, it, you must not always uh, be in suit, suit or and tie. Yeah, so yeah. that to, to the way you are here in Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it too, na kurudi nyumba nyumba ni kwa kwa bedsita. Yeah, yeah. Too depressing. Uh, um, uh, before maybe uh, there is also um, have you ever been to maybe the the tunnels or railway tunnels? Mm. Uh, I went to one in Fortenan. If you ever had the Mombasa. No, no, no. Near near Kisumu, uh, near Kisumu County. Uh, it's it has the tunnels. Has a Fort Jesus. Mm -hmm. Fort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I will advise people to go to places where uh, things are natural. If it's a, it's a, it's it's a, a tunnel of hundred years, it is. Or a rock like in Kakamega, kuna kuanga na rock inatoa machozi. 
Sijui kama bado inalia. The Crying Stone. Anyone who's ever heard of The Crying yeah, Stone? Yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very it's it's a, also a tourist destination. I saw Edith Kimani from DW. There's a time she actually it's last month she did a documentary for DW Dushewele the Germany a broadcaster where she visited there and they're trying to look at the historical uh the historical record of how it has changed and how technology has also changed in terms of the animals that were still there, the forests the types of trees that some of them have faded the idea. So part of that nature, literally, it's super therapeutic. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let, let me come back to you now. Uh, from an expert's point of view, uh, are there places that people underestimate that, you know, Sila Zima Wende, Mombasa, just with them, from what you've noticed in your ecosystem of work, are there places people underestimate, but really, you can really have a ball in there? Okay, yeah, there are so many people places that people do underestimate, apart from Mombasa, and also majorly, uh, let's say the nearest place to be Longonot, no, the Longonot hike and uh, uh, Lake Naivasha boat ride, that will give you the, the overall view on how the hike is. And so actually this Saturday, I hosted a trip to Mount Longonot hike it's like Naivasha boat ride yet. Uh, we are, I'm yet to upload the photos. Oh, that wow, place okay. is very good. You, go, you also get to experience the ugali fish, the ah, fresh fish. Okay. That I'm is liking this ugali fish, my fav. <laughs> 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 yeah, at affordable rates, right? At affordable rate. Let's okay. say from 500 shillings, you can you enjoy it to, to the fullest. The cooler, the Luya style. Yeah, the Luya style. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh -huh. so actually... You can also see the how fish is being prepared directly from the lake yeah. to being roasted of Sika mazile fish is in on you those attempt to go to Nakula Samaki sponge. Now we'll call Samaki mm -hmm. za China. I do you importing fish from China, I do mm -hmm. like Kenya to Kona. Kona, Kona lake Kama Kumi even about it to Nato Samaki China. I uh -huh. never understood. Actually see let allow me brush it off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I never understood uh, why we imported fish from China. Uh, <laughs> let's say, should I say? Yeah, go ahead. You are allowed. Uh -huh. It's got two Say it. <laughs> <laughs> say it like you mean it and say it now. Uh, no, that story, yeah. according to me, let's say it was just bad. A topic to keep people engaged. Oh, so it was not true? I doubt that. Because for the reason why I say it was true, there's a time we went during my graduation with my dad before he passed on. To be under and they served us a very huge big fish. So kila mtu alikona ake. Ata mi nilikula kota ili nishinda. It it was tasteless. And then that time kuliko na stories around those lines that kuna samaki zimetoka China, and it was a big story. It was even covered in the news headlines for long. So I'm like, eh, sawa basi. Kama tumeshindwa ku fish apa ata kibu ata kwa sewage, but the sidi kwa ushenda kwa sewage plant. The way they treat sewage, the last part it wana kwa ngana fish pond. I saw that by the way. It's interesting. Wako na fish pond. Ata ya sewage ya mozi tuzia. But no. definitely muna kula na mjui. I'm, I'm playing, <laughs> pole, relax. Muna kula fish, sun fish, relax. <laughs> but yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> True, but, hey, fish is going to Nairobi, they may take places. Uh -huh. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, to say, me, yeah. ya, mambo ya, from my culture, they yeah. say the local culture. They also there is this phrase that, that they say that, ukichunguza vile kuku na tengenezwa, auta ikula. Tenye kuku na kula. Yeah, yeah. Tenye kuku na kula, auta penda kula. Okay, mm -hmm. So, to keep your perspective, uh, yeah. let's just say. But me Because kuna stories of cabbage, kuna stories of skuma, kuna watu wanasema kuna skuma fulani liko inauzo, imetoka seaweeds. Nimewe. Yeah, like okay, so. And then they say it's the healthiest. Hiyo skuma yenye imetoka kwa seaweed kwanza ndo tam sana, tena more nutritious. Na ukikula wezi jo, kwanza ziko super kwa zile hypermarkets ndo utaziona. Unajua ukienda kwa hiyo ukirudi tena kwa hiyo topic. Niseme Imagine you wanna consume but you know na oh is is it magic expensive expensive ama uh, let's is say the general processing of water refreshment ile tap yeah you ah, tap water kunya budget tap bus eh okay but anyways if you can't afford yeah could refill that you have no choice buy water get ah so should i ask you that how sure you are refilled water you may talk up yeah, but then that's another one. It, this thing is easy, Isha. So, so no, the, the good thing is, chota tu maji, boil, now, <laughs> <laughs> at this point. 
it happened to my limit. Because people don't trust Nairobi water. But it's a, it's a big topic. Do mm -hmm. people trust, I think, is, is it Nawasco or Nzawasco? Something uh, water in, now, in, in, a, in a distributing image. It's in charge of Nikanjo, literally. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. the, uh, the world of entrepreneurship yeah. actually trying to make things to fit in, it's a huge battle. That if yeah. you want to major in it too much, how that will come on appetite. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, I put my gonga point. Now, uh, still quest story I could travel. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for someone to travel right here in Nairobi and a place to achieve my equal life changing yeah. within Nairobi? But the most common and I know ni Nairobi National Park. Na yeye ni na kuanga na giraffe mana. Yeye ni nendanga na kulisha giraffe. Yeah, giraffe center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Up Karen. Yeah. That one is also good, but also we have other places within Nairobi. Yeah. So we have the Last Village. We have Bam in Limur. We have Burudani Adventure Park. Um, it has also wild animals. I know. Actually, it's not majorly on uh, for wild animals, but also engagement with the team building activities, the refreshment, the high ropes experience. But now, if we come back to the wild animals, mm, na Nairobi can we can still take the, not uh, not can, but is still taking the lead because it's giving you a more experience on the the lifestyle of the animals that we have. But, can I say bat? So if I say bat, I'll take you to Masai Mara now where you have the, the general view of it. Because Nairobi, the last time when I went to Nairobi National Park, I can say the animals were not that, they weren't that much. They were scarce, let me say they are scarce. They are scarce, yeah. yeah according to the, tr the round trip that I did experience mm. so actually and it's also it forced me to now come up with a package now yeah. that in marketing Nairobi National yeah. Park for the experience actually so as our to generalize everybody we have a day trip to Nairobi National Park that is mm -hmm. on Saturday and Sunday for 3,000 shillings that is by land cruiser mm -hmm. that in for half a day you can experience Nairobi and also get the animals but if you are also interested to go to Masai Mara, I have a package of a package that is suitable. We include the entrance fee, the park fees, and also two days. Ah, I mean three days and two nights experience in Masai Mara. Mm -hmm. That is a two days game drive of either two van or a land cruiser. Also with uh, 20 Gs at maximum, or uh, let me say at minimum, you can experience Masai Mara by land cruiser. Uh, two nights experience and also if you want to use a tour van at 18 G's mm. you can adventure Masai Mara to get the maximum experience and also the actually now the culture the Maasai culture that is still existing so as not yeah. to brush off the culture that is giving the Kenyans a good exposure. Yeah. Is it a one day experience or a two day a week? I mean it can even take longer. Uh, to Masai Mara? Yeah, um, any mm -hmm. of these destinations. Because okay. I know for Nairobi, of course, we're in Lalauko. But yeah, I know yeah. there's some hotels around. Yeah, there even is. Even Pale KWS, they have hotels. Uh -huh. Yeah, but yeah, some of this is like Unenda, Unarudi, Kwenye Matoka, Ama Unalalako Gari. Ama there's, there's those, those that do camping and tenting, mm -hmm. like you camp and make a, a makeshift you tent and you guys get to sleep there, which I feel like I'm not buying into that, especially. Plus, then you can lie and come out with the KWS. Yeah. Do you know that people also get to experience the Gong Hills and also camp there? Yeah, so therapeutic too, as well. Yeah, so let me say, according to us, we do advice on uh, how well are you packed. Mm -hmm. So, because we can tell you to go to. Nairobi National Park yet you only, all, all you wanted to do was just a half day trip. So if you want to find somewhere where you can spend the night, we now we have to spread wider. And also, let's say we, I ca we also have a package that is five days, four nights. Masai Mara. Oh, five days, four nights. Yeah, that is a package from Masai Mara, Lake Nakuru and Naivasha. And approximately how could that be costing? Uh, around uh, 38, 38 Gs. 38k, 38,000, let me say like that. That's wow. a five days experience. Mm, that can take me to Mombasa for two days. I'm a one. <laughs> Actually, you're going to fare a flight up. Because flight oh yeah. is around 10,000, depending on the, the availability of flight. Yeah, yeah. Because also, oh. like right now, the flight is 
congested, and so making it. Is it flight summer or SGR? The one you said it's fully booked. SGR is fully booked, also, flight is also competitive. We ah. the so you can do eh, safari link, okay. Safari link do will call accident use. Eh, kuna easy kama <laughs> fly five forty and the rest. Uh, yeah, yeah, five forty, seven forty eight, which are Jumbo now. Jet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, uh, so right KQ now. a little bit expensive, yeah. Can I refer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, uh -huh. because seven forty eight are yet to open. They are closed. Ah. Five forty the same. Is it the one Akothe was launching? Seven forty eight, the ah. one from Nairobi to Kisumu. Uh, Amanda, that's a new one. That one. There's is one I saw Akothe launching. Uh, that one is a new one. Okay. So, but 540 is still closed. From oh, 540 is closed. Yeah, for now. 540 and 740. The orange. The yeah, orange the, logo. the orange logo. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, let's say for flight, we have Safari Link that is still active. We uh, had a cocoa accident in last week. Yeah, but see, actually, it was just but a breakdown with no casualties, let's say, like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, we still have flight, but competitive since now people are now heading back to tourism yeah we can we have uh, available slots to go but mm. though minimum so you tell us to us the end how people can get to book you and uh, get to experience your business but then also when you look at the way kenya is marketed i remember one of the uh, guests that i interviewed here early in the beginning of the year Early in the beginning of the year. Oh, we are still mm -hmm. in the early beginning of the year. Literally, I think mid Jan. I'll call say, the way Kenya is marketed, even in terms of tourism and that whole ecosystem, there's it needs to be a lot that needs to be done in there, especially when uh, we talk about our local, especially domestic travel. Okay. Do we market uh, local uh, travel destinations? Do we talk about them even? Uh, Ali mentioned, I remember you mentioned, even including them in TV mm -hmm. and radio programming. And if you look at some of the most uh, marketed world destinations, South Africa has the best even in terms of digital advertisements on TV, on radio, and even the films. The way they, they, they you, you've, you've mentioned story, a drone running and just giving you uh, a, a wide shot yeah, uh, yeah. or an establishing shot of yeah. the nature and the serenity and the beauty of the land. Do we do that as well here in Kenya? Live alone even Kenya as in general. In Bungoma, do we market Bungoma as a holiday destination? Do we market Mombasa? The packaging, do we talk about it? But then also, I believe the political structure has mm. a huge massive effect when it comes to some of these things. Who is the cabinet secretary of tourism and what is she or she doing about it? Some of these people are not experts. They were just you know, thrown in there because they have experience in other political spaces, mm -hmm. just cashing in money. And people like you that need to be funded, and even get to international platforms and get to even talk about your businesses and how you're changing lives, you will not because the person who is there, first of all, has no idea where they are, oh, yeah. but they are crashing over 10 million every month. So you look at some of the problems you're facing now in terms of even marketing our local tourism. Mm. Yeah, that th actually you can say that is some of the major challenges that most tour agents or tour experts do experience. The lack, <coughs> the lack of exposure, and also the fun to market the destinations. But if we put that on aside, also our own people, the Kenyan people, should also embrace the idea of adventuring just to take a step outside the places that they are used to. Because if we want to measure too much on, an, on another person without taking our own responsibility, do you know so that one so it's not going to favor us in, as individuals. And not that I'm trying to defend any person, but putting the, th the right thing on the table yeah. is that if I have no interest in adventure, mm -hmm. uh, with the, so I'm, I won't explore these places. But yeah. if I take a step, like my colleague here, Ms. MC Africana, with the, if I'm allowed, I can erase the mentality that cost or Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Yeah, actually, it's usually mm -hmm. cost Dubai, Naila is Zanzibar. Yeah. Even though it's our neighboring country, but yeah, please stick to Mombasa Pier. Because actually, if I say that, yes, du mm, Zanzibar, Zanzibar seems to be a magnified face of Mombasa, but also. Oh, it's like a, it's like Promax and then Mini Promax and then Pro Promax. Pro Promax. <laughs> okay. Let's say, yeah. So, right. the culture to visit the coast. Is similar to Zanzibar. Yeah, but the experience ah. may turn out to be very different. 
but because also, of the money, because I believe Zanzibar is part of Tanzania. Yeah, it's part of uh, Tanzania. Their currency is a little bit low, so you can spend less and keep your money and still come back rich. Okay. Yes, you can still come back rich if you are okay. well packed. But mm -hmm. no, so you okay, can. I see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. But also, you know, if we let's start with the Mombasa. You know that actually we are two experts. Yeah. We have come up with a, a way of us ourselves marketing the mm -hmm. cultural or rather the nature to advert, let's say to adventure within Nairobi yeah. with a well packaged but also even if we put it to be free. Right. Like the previous time uh, uh, Nairobi, the parks were said to be free. You know that yeah. Not everybody got to explore the parks, let's say, the bombers. Not everybody because yeah. the interest. The people don't have that interest to explore because they just think that life is all about a one face, what I'm used to. They don't yeah. want to give themselves the chance to yeah. look at it from a different perspective. Yeah. So I'll urge most of we as Kenyans, not yeah. just the youths or the the nine to the is it nine to five? Yeah, it's Our a nine job. to five, yeah. Yeah, the employment. Let us just say that at times it's because actually I believe when we are writing our CV, we have our hobbies where we indicate swimming, traveling, but we don't yeah. put it into practice. Right, yeah. Maybe you've traveled from <coughs> your hobby to <laughs> Kisumu. Well, that's really traveling. Yeah, that way. is traveling. Uh, maybe you travel very often, so <laughs> still practicing <laughs> the hobby anyways. Mm -mm, but now I'm saying that we yeah. engage the group because... Why? Uh, we remove the mentality that people are bad because yeah. you only say that people are bad because you have not experienced it with another person. But yeah, if I get exactly. yeah. yeah. So now embracing the culture of adventuring locally, yeah. it will give you the motive that people are not what you actually see who they oh, are. Or people are not the same. People literally. are not the same. Yeah. I can only imagine if you visit Ireland today and just see how they eat China, they eat snails, you mm -hmm. go to Donut which country they have some types of frogs and snakes they eat. Yeah, and yeah. for you, you're stuck here, Nyoka ni Shetani, Yuchuras And even the spiritual limitations that we have and the religious limitations here, Sijui Paka Likukuros Asubui, Sikiyako Ime Spoiler, there's places people are eating carts, it's food, bruh. Very so exposure uh, is, is the best uh, teacher, man. Yeah, exposure is the best teacher. Yeah. And that is why I still like my brother here. Take mm. your time to visit Mombasa. You can consult me. Right. I give you a, <laughs> even if it's uh, yeah. hosting us, you I get to host in a studio just yeah, to have okay. the experience in a, in Mombasa. Yeah, I'm up to task. To task right. to That's a good challenge. I'm sure I'm not here, off the air. But also mm -hmm. sometimes also visiting places is not just like getting out of the house and traveling to coast. Yeah. You can even walk to a Kibandaski. According to our question of the day, by the way, mm -hmm. now when the place I'm cool, food is nice, Lapmbaya. There's a time. Um, when I was at Radio Africa Group, yeah, there's a place we used to eat up on New Mad Lion Place, uh, okay, and I said, yeah, St. Mark's, before the other side, I think, said, yeah, Sound City, just up on Numa, CJ Market, anyway, but it's like a Bandaski. Mm -hmm. So we used to go there to eat. Eh, the Chapati Nyama there was slapping very hard, and it was so sweet, man, there, and it was affordable. Yeah. And that place, yeah. actually, half of us still go to Nendapo. I'm pretty sure till right now, there's still people who go there to eat Chapo Nyama, and it's very cheap. I think it's called 100 Bob. Chapombili na beef na mboga hapo katikati. And then Pia, I remember that mother used to give us, um, I think it was fruit salad, yeah. Mixture, amekweke hapo ka watermelon na ndizi tatu amezi chop. So th hey, that, 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 was, that was a spot. So look at it like, if you got 12, everybody is already there. Everyone. And that's, that's interesting, literally. What do you think of that? See, lazima u travel, you can go to a place and still have fun right here. Okay, I think uh, you have touched on a very powerful point. Um, there's a place I always eat. You know, people, once they see you, that celebrity thing, they don't expect you in a kibandaski. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I the mentality and uh, yeah. I say, don't want to just oh, be myself. Oh, to check what TV expect to pity up. Yeah, they okay. be like, okay. <laughs> um, actually, uh, um, I've been an MC for long and yeah. maybe I have a lot of following and all that. Uh -huh. um, the point is uh, going to a Kibandaski, yeah. going with your friends actually, yeah. the five, six, seven, you'll yeah. just feel, you know, I, I call it Kwamade, Kwamade. The food are always amazing yeah. um, and at a, at a cheaper price. 
Uh, let me, b before maybe I, I, s I, I just rush to a point uh, my, my good friend was just talking about, um, how we, we, we market our country in terms yeah. of tourism. Yeah. Let's take for example for Abu Dhabi. They're using Manchester City. How many people in the world were watching yesterday that, yes, that match? match yeah. Millions. At the end of yeah. the day, the Abu Dhabi visit Abu Dhabi was just running there. And at the end of the day, you have to spot it. Yeah, and they have flight Emirates in collaboration. Yeah, I remember they have an ad on CNN that I think it's usually run by Eleni Jokos when she visits different countries, like Fanya, the best tourist destinations yeah. in the world. And yeah. that's why, and that's why uh, um, uh, Kenya is just. We need to just pull up, up your socks. Those socks, our, our yeah. English teacher used to say. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Rwanda. Rwanda, they are using, uh, they, are, they have an affiliation with uh, uh, um, Arsenal. Oh, because they're, they're in collaboration, they yeah. partner. Yeah. yeah. Visit oh, okay. Rwanda. You know, yeah. Amzungu will be like this Rwanda. And it's on the jerseys of some of yeah. these players in the team. And imagine yeah. how many people are wearing those jerseys on, uh, mm. in the world. Uh, the, 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 the one they are playing, how many people are watching. And you know, it is Rwanda. Rwanda is not an English word. Like, mm. someone is like, yeah. Rwanda? It's an African what is country. this? What is yes, this? This is Rwanda. Going to just see what Rwanda is. Oh, those so are very, the cleanest uh, uh, country in Africa. Yeah. I will go. That's, that's how I think our people should, uh, should uh, Kenya, I mean, not even a people, Kenya. Come on, Sisi. Kasarani peke yake ili tushinda kuziba tu mashimo players <laughs> wacheze. Anyways, uh, anaitwa nani? Outsiders anasema good morning watching from Bokole. Okay, shout out to Bokole. Selector Ray anasema watching live from home I believe. Uh, Brian K.E. anasema kula mombasani ku enjoy na mbogi too. Count me in as always. Toka Endebes. Okay, shout out to you. Tio Tio na sema na represent nikiwa hampa Mwanda Bungoma County. By the way, shout out to this guy. There's no day a shy fail kutuma feedback yake. From Mwanda Bungoma, many times. Shout out to you and your family and your business and your best friends. Okay. Uh, Apochina na sema David DJ Davido 254. Na sema pale Makongo viewpoint on your way to Wote Town, Makweni County. Oh, Wakamba. Villing and Villing. Okay. <laughs> and then the last one is right there. Anasema Karithi. I don't know what that means. I'm using onomatopoeia. Anasema nga sauti. Tanakali za sauti. So, anasema Villing and Villing. But I, I don't think it means anything. But it's a Kamba sound. All right. <laughs> Sultan Soksail. I'm a Soksail. Yes. Anasema. Ni Sultan Niko locked in from Nairobi. Mombasa is the best place. Ningependa nipeleke Mbogi with Stephanie Ayeta. Oh, Stephanie, so, so. Stephanie, now you, your Easter is sorted. Another one, I say, <laughs> see all the same side, I say, Dona Penda. Nairobi, Dona Penda with Steph. So, uh, choose, pick side. Mombasa, man, Nairobi with Steph. Ako hapa, ame kuona. Agachugo, I say, I know we don't know each other, <laughs> but to everyone who is reading this, now I wish you all the best in life, and God bless you. Please touch the blue. F okay, what I follow. Benja is handling it. I'm not <laughs> the one. Uh, Wesley Gibson and I say, good morning. Good morning to you, Wesley. Irungu J. Jason and I say, in, 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 in. So, all right, right. And I talk to Kim Sam, Naivasha with fire emojis. Thank you so much. Shout out to you. Joshua Melinda, good morning. Good morning to you. Joshua watching from Mayuge. Felix Mukenya and I say, good morning. Tuned in. Yes, to Makugotia. Pia Glenn Blim and I say, watching live from Sabatia. Shout out to you and Sabatia. Glenn Ten, and then next one, Apochina Masema, and it was Honorable Arab Malabat Chop Yoset. Hey, okay, Chamuge. All right. Good morning, Mahishimiwa. Oh, this was feedback in regards to, uh, I think, um, the conversation uh, Stephanie was having with Mahishimiwa David. And I said, Matonga, be a share of coins, I mean, Right. <laughs> 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 right now. <laughs> okay, uh, the last one on a sema um Toto Akifame, Lolongo, well tuned in. All right, okay. So, so I think uh, that's the last one. Come on, Musenango Nasema. Good morning for Moja Sana Hampa Kiamwangi, Division Gatundu, South Kiambu County. Shout out to you by the way, and thank you so much for engaging with us today. And by the way, that's what we put at Wendele. We are done. So I want you guys to give where people can find you on social media as we go. Uh, I'll start with you, just what? Yes. How people can get to also book your business and get to enjoy traveling locally. Okay, on social media, uh, we are at, we are known as Jabit Adventures. 
from all platforms, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all at Jabit Adventures. And our contact is 0704-336-951. And you. Cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Bran. Uh, my name is Eric Chiriot, uh, MC Africana Professional MC. I'm the CEO of Dwell Events Kenya. We deal with uh, events, team building, corporate events, uh, rural show, weddings, birthdays. Um, I also am a student leader. I do mentorship. You can find me on MC Africana in, on all social media platforms. You can uh, call me maybe for bookings on 0793 Thank you. All right, you yeah. guys, thank you so much. I think this has been a riveting conversation. Indeed. And you're here for the third time or the fourth time? This uh, it's is my home, actually. You know, oh, this is uh, uh, sir. <laughs> now you, 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 you found a home mm -hmm. that's home. away yeah. from home. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I wish you guys the best of luck in everything. I can't wait to see you at the top. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's where we put a close to it, by the way. Thank you so much for keeping us company from exactly 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Right now, ju just a minute. We'll definitely see you tomorrow for Innovations and uh, Entrepreneurship Tuesday, but ensure that you check us out at Y254 channel and at Brian Sako on one on the hashtag Y in the morning. Continue to talk to us off, off the air. We'll still be sampling your feedback. See you tomorrow. Have a fantastic Monday.